Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm going to discuss the super fund. What do we mean by super fund and um, how this actually topic is really important in for environmental science students and uh, people who are working with environmental protection. So as you can see here, this is just uh, an example of um, of the sites that is actually uh, labeled with some kind of uh, labels here. This is for super fund or hazardous waste, uh, dangerous. Or why you actually can see this uh, signs basically in some areas here in the US. Okay. So what is super fund? The super fund actually uh, came from uh, contaminated sites uh, existing nationally due to uh, some hazardous waste. And this can be dumped or um, left out in the open. And uh, they are not actually uh, manageable. And also this site include uh, manufacturing site uh, or facilities, processing plant, Landfills, maybe mining sites. Uh, in 1970s, uh, the toxic waste dump, uh, such what happened in Laugh Canal and Valley of Drums, received national attention. Uh, when the public learned about the risk to human health and environmental posed by contaminated sites. In response, the Congress uh, established the uh, CERCLA, uh, which stands for Congress Estab uh, Comprehensive uh, Environmental uh, Response uh, Compensation and Liability Act in, uh, 1890, uh, in 1980. And the CERCLA -E -E is informally called the Super Fund. So basically, this is the, the act came to uh, allow EBA to clean up. Uh, contaminated sites and also forces parties responsible for the contamination to either perform cleanups or reimburse the government for EBA. Uh, the EBA, of course, is the Environmental Protection Agency of the US to lead uh, cleanup work. Uh, so this is actually this serious problem. Why actually we have uh, the goals for uh, super funds, the goal is actually to protect the human health, of course, and the environment by cleaning up the contaminated sites. So as I mentioned, this sites actually distributed over the US here, and uh, this need to be cleaned up for the human health. And also make responsible parties to pay, to pay for uh, clean up work. So if somebody actually responsible for a contamination, he should, or the, the company basically should be responsible for cleaning up. And of course, involve the communities in the super fund process. So basically, the community will be aware about these sites, and uh, they have to be aware that they don't have to be closer, as as they mentioned in the signs in the first slide, that there are some signs be actually aware of. If you are closer to these sites, you have to be careful with that. And of course, the the most important again to to actually. Uh, uh, trade these sites and return the super fund site to productive use. So basically, if you clean them, so it will be easy to uh, uh, reuse them. Okay, so uh, to to the the, the hazardous uh, ranking of these sites uh, is important because basically, uh, is, uh, the ranking system is principally uh, mechanism that the EBA, the Environmental Protection Agency, uses to place uncontrolled waste site on the national priorities list. So this is basically, this is very important. And this important criteria, the NBL, the NBL is a list of the most serious site identified for long-term cleanup. Uh, how this can be done? Uh, basically, there are some numerical uh, uh, scale of scoring system that use information from initial limited investigations and the preliminary assessment and the site inspection and the expanded site inspections if necessary to assess a relative potential of the site to pose a threat to the human. All of this actually is a preliminary assessment and uh, site inspection and 
uh, expanded site inspection, all of these actually are measures that used by EBA to uh, score the, the sites to be uh, uh, nationally, uh, in the national priority uh, list. Uh, to get actually more information about the BA and the SI and the ESIA, there is a, 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 a reference here. This is basically you can you can go to the website and read about this. Uh, uh, back to this uh, hazards ranking system, the site received a hazard ranking system uh, score of uh, 28.5 or greater are eligible to for replacement on the NBL which means that is actually nationally uh, nationally recognized as uh, uh, in priority for uh, cleaning up and to be considered as um, hazard uh, sites okay uh, here this is uh, how how can we find the the sites for super fund uh, uh, basically, as I mentioned, they are distributed over the, the United States. And here, this is basically the map that can be uh, used to, to uh, locate these ones. Uh, to get this one, actually, for example, here, we can actually access this super fund map. Here, if you can look at this one now, I think you should know it. And if you enlarge it a little bit, so you can actually say, I'm actually living in, for example, in... Uh, Nebraska, for example, here I can select actually where I'm living here in Nebraska. If I just uh, go to this dot here, I can see uh, this Olaga groundwater contamination. And from here, I can see uh, some more information about this site and uh, the ranking of it. And of course, the, the EBA ID uh, uh, for the site and uh, among actual other maybe also proposed as uh, as a super fund in maybe 92 and then listing in 1994 and etc so you can actually go and uh, look at this map where you live and see uh, where exactly you you can actually um, find more information of course in the eba you can find a lot of information and uh, with that i would like to end up here and